we need to talk about the cosmic desktop yes it's come that time where I probably trigger a load of people on the internet about a desktop environment it happens what can I say it's just how it goes but I can get triggered too and I don't really care about these things you're probably thinking oh James you don't care about desktop environments you said already None of this matters to you, you don't use them, use a window manager, tiling window manager, it's all true. I don't literally care. But there are certain things that I can't avoid talking about, and so that's what we're going to do today. So, well, we might as well get into it, because, uh, yeah, so trigger warning to cosmic desktop users and, let's say, their affiliates. Maybe it won't be so bad, what I'm going to say, but... We will see, we will see anyway. Yeah, let's look at the screen. Let's see what's going on here. Why, oh why am I triggered? Well, it's in the news all the time. Every time something about an alpha release of the Cosmic, des cosmic Desktop. Oh, that name is so annoying, so stupid. Okay, first trigger warning, you're probably triggered already, but I mean, it's just annoying. I'm sorry, people think it's cool, it's just annoying. Look, I, 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 don't, I don't want to just get annoyed for the sake of it. We will go into this, we will set a premise, but you can see already why, you know, my shoulders are all tense, and, you know, it's just, it just has that air about it, and there's a lot of reasons I think why. I wouldn't normally care about it, but they kind of make you care and it, they're affiliates. And when I say affiliates, you will know what I'm going to get into when I get into it. Now, I don't really, let's say I don't really know enough about uh, Cosmic Desktop, but I know enough to why it annoys me. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's get into it. I've done enough preamble, even for my videos, it's shorter, but it's too much, right? So here we go. This came in the news, you, if you've looked at any Linux news, you cannot avoid it. Every mm, moment, it will be Alpha 1, Alpha 2, Alpha 3, Alpha 4. And I will get into this, but it's their PR. Their PR is just so annoying. They are everywhere. They just will not leave, you know, Linux uh, news cycle alone. And, okay, yes, if you are using the alpha great for you fantastic yes we know it's not production ready it's not even in beta all this kind of thing but hey you know let's fix all the bugs great I have no problem with that but look look at the PR machine in action this is everywhere this is just the page for their blog cosmic alpha 4 you know they've got all the stuff here and all the bug fixes, fantastic. You know, I'm sure KDE and GNOME do it. I don't care about them either. Why do I care about this? Well, we're getting into it. We're getting into it. I've already mentioned the PR machine that is System76, the people who make it. Yes, that's right. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, the desktop environment that's going to be cosmic when it's released is made by a company called System76 who make very expensive hardware, by the way. I'm not going to comment on how good or bad it is, but I'm just going to say it's quite expensive, maybe no more than equivalents like framework or whatever. But they also make Pop OS, which is just like a GNOME, GNOME, I don't know how you say it, derivative. And this is their attempt at making their own. Again, I don't want to jump too here because we, we should maybe um, now sort of get into what it is just for those who are uninitiated, because it's all going to feed into these feeling this feeling gets me sort of here you know so I'm not going to go into all their blog here's a little arch wiki page about it obviously to install it but it sort of tells you let's look at the summary because we need again I just I just want to set a premise you can sort of there's buzzwords here there's hints there's there's little things why you might think I'm getting just my back up a bit so you can tell where this might be going so the cosmic desktop environment so yes it's a desktop environment developed in the rust programming language now we're getting into it you can see maybe where this is going i don't know 
we will get into this in a minute, using iced cross-platform GUI for Rust, okay? And Smithy, which is like a, um, uh, a Wayland compositor, I guess, or Wayland something. And don't misunderstand, I don't actually have a problem with Wayland. Of course, this is going to be, a, it, this is in Wayland or whatever. I actually have no problem with Wayland. Wayland's the future. I know this, it's unavoidable. As much as I don't care enough about using Wayland, I know if I basically want to use this web browser for the future decades, everybody's going to be running Wayland. Sorry, guys. Don't make that hill to die on because I'm not that guy. I'm not even that guy on desktop environments. I'm certainly not on this, but there are, again, things that certain elements going on that cannot be unavoided. I cannot get away from this stuff at the moment. It's everywhere, everywhere, all about cosmic. Okay? So here we go, and then there's the installation. Obviously, this is not an installation video, it's obviously not a testing video. I'm not getting into the weeds of if it's good or not. It's in alpha, so it's still in an early phase relatively. Even though they'll tell you a thousand alphas later what alpha it's in, and the PR machine will go mad and tell you this is alpha 10 and it will be in every new cycle and there will be all the people on the internet talking about it in Linux. Anyway, but there's certain reasons behind why that is. So let's let's get off the Arch Wiki and let's go back to, here you go, System76. Here you can see the PR machine. You know, they've got their kind of cringe, um, I'll be honest, who am I to say cringe, but... I know what is cringe. I might be cringe. I well, I kind of am, but I I just know. I can just you can just sense it. You can just it just their whole graphical thing. I know people like it. There's a certain person uh, who does like it a lot. Good for them. I have no problem. Cosmic TM TM TM. Um. Okay, you know. Here we go, the new desktop environment. Now, obviously, this, to be fair, is a completely standalone desktop environment in the sense that it's building, it's using its own, like, uh, Rust libraries and whatever, and skins, and, you know, it's not relying on GNOME, it's not relying on KDE. Great. Good for them. Good for them. But it's written in Rust. And we're going to get into that. We're going to get into So let's have a little look. Oh, see, look, even on their landing page, Alpha 4, Test it, download it, try it out on your favorite distro. Woo! Here we go, it's about Cosmic. Who cares? Who cares? Now, don't get me wrong, I, I, I will try and be fair. It's obvious that System76 are very good. They've done a lot of development on drivers, I think, and for you know NVIDIA and all this. It's all great, good for them. Well done, System76. You're doing good work. But, yeah. Cosmic is it's a problem for me. I'm just saying it's not a problem for me using Linux, but it's a, every time I go on the internet, it is everywhere. Forget the whole thing about Wayland versus X11. This is the thing that is just insufferable. Insufferable. It's just a PR exercise without a point. Oh, that is spicy. Well, okay, it's not. It's just it, it comes across as that. It comes across as that. Whoa, this is uh, this is too intense, surely, for a desktop environment. It just stirs up a few emotions. There's certain elements to it. I mean, I'm not even going to go in. Who cares? It's just, again, it's just another desktop environment. That's the point. But there is so much invested in this, in time, obviously, and money, and marketing, and lawyers, and company people, from System76, and all their groupies and fans, they're the problem. They're the problem. But there's why why are they so invested in this, I hear you ask. Well, let's have a little look. I know everybody's favourite or most hated site on the internet, Wikipedia. But it just again just gives us a little summary. So what is going on here? So we know it's a desktop environment. Now all the GNOME KDE people, it's not really about them being, you know, the you know, in battle with Cosmic. It's clearly not about that. There is a certain person who makes something called Hyperland. Now they've 
gone into why they don't like Cosmic. And it's not to say I don't like, it's not to say I don't like Cosmic. I don't care about Cosmic necessarily. I'm not going to be using Cosmic. I don't use Hyperland. I'm sure Hyperland is great. It's a tile in window manager, whatever. It's, but there's certain elements, there's certain elements. You can tell, you can, mm, you can smell the, the, in the air, what's going on here. And it comes down to rust. There we go. Everybody knows it. Rust fanboys are the clearly the driving force behind this. They do not want anybody to say against something like Cosmic. And that's why that Hyperland person, uh, Vaxry or whatever his name is, got a grilling uh, after his uh, comments against, okay, he, yeah, he came out strongly against this because he's got something at stake. I don't have something at stake and who am I? I'm nobody on the internet, right? All three of you people, I know you've got my back, so thank you very much. But, you know, I'm not I'm not really the um, influence on this. But I just, it's just how I feel about it. And clearly he upset a lot of people. He he wrote, uh, what, Hyperland in C++, and that's not safe. That doesn't have memory safety. Okay, yeah, Rust, Rust, Rust is great for memory safety. We know this. It's not absolutely infallible. I'm not a developer, so who am I to say? Well, I can't say, but what I know is I know, obviously, it's memory safe. It, it's an impressive um, programming language. The people who obviously have incredible knowledge, although C++ developers obviously have incredible knowledge or ability, and to build this is, you know, it's a massive achievement. Fantastic. But once the PR guys have got on it, they have absolutely gone wild. And people who have made it their thing are just insufferable. Absolutely insufferable. It is just overrated, okay? Overrated as a concept. And I want to get into this because this was sort of covered by that Vaxry person on uh, Hyperland, whatever. I'm not going to bring him up in his blog and read what he said. You can go and th maybe I'll find what he said. You can go and look up that. But I've got my own opinion on this in a more mundane or a more simple way. And it is a, com I have to say, it is ultimately outside of memory safety. And remember, the kernel isn't memory safe because it's running, is basically built on C. I know the Rust people want Rust in there. Fine. I don't think that's literally a problem. But boy, are they, uh, they're scary people, some of them. I'm scared, I'm scared, people on the internet. But, you know, they are pretty, I don't know, they, they have, uh, they're pretty uh, intense, some of them. Look, I, I think Rust is obviously great, so I'm not, I'm not, you know, I've got, you know, I've, uh, Rust is great, yeah. Um, please don't be mean to me on the internet. You know, that's, that's a bit like how it feels at the moment. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating, but. So why also do I have an issue with this? So let's look. They sort of say it in their landing page. But another big thing made about it is, here we go, features. Features, right? Because I don't want this video to go on there. I just want to get the core issues. Uh, not as big a thing, but, and I understand why this has happened. What is the point of having both a desktop environment and a tiling window manager in the same operating system in the same environment. It makes no sense whatsoever. Let me put it this way. If you are running a desktop environment, you have all your widgets, right? You have all your widgets, all your skins, all your icons in your desktop environment on the screen. We all know what a desktop environment, think Windows, think GNOME, KD. They're there. That's what they're there. They're there to give you something to click on, okay? A tiling window manager, yes, can utilize a mouse, but it is there to shortcut opening applications, okay? Or it's there to run the terminal. Basically, as far as I'm concerned, it's their glorified terminal, but I know people will say, well, why are you doing that? And I agree, I agree. But you are using, you are duplicating unnecessary things with all this overhead Think how silly it is running gigabytes, gigabytes of GNOME or KDE or 
cosmic to get a window to get a terminal or to load an application it is just why are you doing it i don't even blame system 76 i blame the people who have made this possible and this is actually perhaps even worse than the rust fanatics it's just created a crazy situation that people are seemingly thinking this is a good direction it is just mind-blowing once you use a tiling window manager ditch the desktop environment ditch cosmic ditch kde ditch gnome what are you what are you thinking you have everything you need if you need a settings shortcut whatever setting you need on a key or create some script or something it's not difficult it's not difficult if you want a program shortcut it on your keys it's simple why are you having all this overhead it's just madness it's so what is the point of this this is completely pointless it is just another desktop environment and i have no problem with hey the spice of life have all your linux programs all your desktop environments it's just another one hey isn't that fun we can play around with this great great but why is this one made into such a big thing it's just uh it's just a an exercise in rust for rust fanatics to show they can build a desktop environment it's memory safe well the kernel's not going to be memory safe okay speak to linus torvalds is not it's not safe you know so this i'm afraid is just pointless sorry to be a downer on it if you use it and you're triggered i'm very sorry i i hope you can get over this i hope you can recover from this video but i have to see i'll have to see the next alpha five six seven a thousand videos cropping up on my youtube i will have to endure the billion different linux websites talking about this on the front page and then oh my word and then the beta how are we going to survive that that is just going to be even worse pr overload and what is it all for if you want to try out a tiling window manager and you happen you happen to try it out in cosmic great well done now you know why you didn't need a desktop environment that's basically what it's saying if this is about oh we need to have we want to manage our windows and that fine but again you're just creating a huge overhead you didn't need and you realize the pointlessness of what you're running just cut it out get rid of it and I know all of this is in vain none of this is gonna hit home and that's fine that's fine but please can we just spare the unending articles online about this cosmic desktop because as an exercise in rust well done congratulations don't get at me rust fanboys you've done great congratulations system 76 it's impressive it's so impressive you've done it in rust well done Mwah. fantastic but it's i'm afraid it's just an exercise in pointlessness it is just still another desktop environment as technically impressive as it is if you think that tiling window management is is special it is worse than special it is just completely butting heads with a problem that never existed the problem is you're running a desktop environment and not a window manager that's it okay wow that's that might not go down well i'm so sorry if you're triggered but hopefully you recover hopefully this weekend you'll chill out have a glass of wine or something just calm down the world's not going to end alpha 6 7 10 beta 1 will all be coming out the world will carry on don't worry your precious desktop environment with tiling windows <sighs> unbelievable will continue enjoy it anyway wow this video has probably gone on way too long i think um i'm making these videos way too long anyway whatever do your fake youtube thing i know you love doing it i don't know maybe you won't anymore but there we go like comment subscribe hey i'm on youtube man anyway that's it that is it